confidence is often mistaken as being sure, certain or fearless about something. But more often than not, it is just the confidence to try. Hi, I'm Shweta Shivraman and today I'm going to be speaking to you about confidence. I've never been a confident person myself. I've always been acutely aware of the things that I do not know of or I'm ignorant of and I still am. On the contrary though, people see me as a very confident person because I am open to trying something new. The same person but the self and the society hold two very contradicting opinions. The difference stems from the simple misunderstanding that I've had about what confidence truly is. We often misconstrue confidence to be equated to expertise and courage that comes from knowledge. That confidence is some measured skill that can be acquired as we attain mastery in life. Surely people who we've seen who are doing the same thing for 20 or 30 years seem much more confident as if age or passing of time alone can assure us or guarantee us of acquiring that mastery. But sometimes confidence is just the courage to try. It is to acknowledge that you're not aware of something. It is to acknowledge that you might not be very good at it. It is to acknowledge that there is a possibility that you might fail miserably at your attempt, but still pursue it with all your heart. Uh, I remember this uh, quote Vincent Van Gogh says, where he says that if you hear a voice with a deal that says you cannot paint, then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced. More often than not, confidence is just the courage to try the unknown, to pursue what matters irrespective of the outcome, because the journey is more important than the result, to knowing that you will be all right, irrespective of where the path leads you. If you achieve your goal, then the success gives you confidence. If you don't, the confidence to try gave you lessons on survival, which you would have never learned any other way. Confidence to me, borrowing from the words of Adam Grant, is knowing in your heart that failing will yield lesser regret than failing to try. So in what aspect of life are you practicing the courage to try today? Let me know in the comment section below.